Ever wanted to use your favorite pair of headphones in place of those big bulky ones that come pre-installed on wireless headphones? Or perhaps you've wanted to use them in bed or on the couch without cracking the case? Well now you can. I'm going to show you how to take an old or broken pair of wireless headphones and turn it into a small and lightweight wireless headphone receiver box that you can plug your favorite headphones into. To make this wireless headphone receiver box, you're going to need a couple of things. First off, you need a pair of old or broken wireless headphones. I used a Sentry HO900. When I say broken, by the way, I mean the case, but not the actual electronics. Second, we're going to need a few cassette tape boxes to act as our cover. Third, we're going to need a two AAA battery holder with batteries. And finally, you're going to need a 3.5mm headphone jack. For tools, you're going to need a couple of different drill bits, a Dremel, a soldering iron, a Sharpie, some modeling glue, some wire, and some duct tape. First off, we need to completely gut the headphones and salvage the circuit board, which is the only thing we really need. Once you have it out, you need to identify the power and audio terminals. Now, once we make a note of all the connections we need to make, you can go ahead and unsolder all the external wires on the board. Make sure you don't unsolder the antenna though. Now we can go ahead and solder in our new power supply, which is the batteries, and a headphone jack. On my model, I found that it is actually a mono signal split between both ears, but on higher end versions, this is probably different. After double checking my connections, I put in some batteries and it worked. Now for the casing. For the case, I decided to use a cassette tape box because it is just the right size and I have plenty of them around. Now take your sharpie and make a note of all the cuts and holes you're going to need to make. You're going to need to make a hole for the headphone jack, a cut for the volume, a cut for the on and off switches, and a hole for the LED. Now it's time to get out the drill and dremel and start cutting. I found out that you must be very careful with the plastic because one false move and it will break, thus making you restart the whole process over again. It took me about five or six times to get it just the way I wanted, so it's going to take a lot of patience. After all our holes for the switches, LED, headphone port, and volume are in place, I went ahead and used some glue to attach the headphone port and battery holder. Now let it sit for a while. Once it all dried, I put the cover on and found out that it did not quite fit over the battery holder. This is because I didn't have a AAA battery holder, so I used a AA instead. With the help of a few more cuts and some duct tape, the cover fits on quite nicely, although I haven't figured out how I plan to open it. I also used a sharper to label the on and off switches, as well as the volume. Now I can listen to whatever I want, wherever I want, without having the bulky headphones on my head. This also means I can use them in bed or while studying on the sofa without risking cracking the soft headphone case. So that's how to build your very own wireless headphone receiver box. Now go make one, and I'll see you next time.